He's watching the garbage trucks out there take the trash. Can I show him what, what, what I have my little toy? Mm hmm Yeah? Are you watching the garbage trucks? Yeah? Oh gosh. Look guys, I have a little toy Ryan. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's so cute. Whoa. <laughs> we still have the old couch over in the dining room area. I need to list that like on Facebook or something and have someone come pick it up. But honestly, the boys like love playing on it, so I just <laughs> have left it there for now. But I really do need to get rid of it. shirts that came in for the boys finally I'm so obsessed with them like how cute love you most for cam and then love you more for Quentin these are from the brand June and gray but they were pretty hard to get my hands on um, they kept selling out super quickly and she kept having to like restock them um, but like the second she would restock them they would sell out again so I finally got some and they're gonna be so cute for Valentine's Day I love the colors you want to say hi I'm going to say hi, too. Okay, oh my god, the hair. Say hi. Okay. Say hi. Ooh. Hi. Me, I'm back here, Cam. Hi. Yeah. Uh, hey, guys, that's my little brother. His name is Quentin Jade. You guys, this room, this yeah. playroom is a disaster. A disaster. This needs to be clean today, honey. Are you going to clean it up today? What about you? you got to put your hair up, hon. You guys, his hair is so long. It's like, I don't know. Can I put your hair up? But I love it. I do. I really love it. I think it's so, like, beautiful. Uh-uh. Don't eat that. Can I put your hair up? My name is Camden Jane. What's all of your names, guys? Oh, okay, can you share? Okay, 
Okay, don't do that. Can you share? He wants to use the phone, hun. Can you go get him the phone? This is the playroom right now. I still have not done the wallpaper. I have it. I just have not done the wallpaper on this like massive wall over here um, because I am just putting it off. But I really need to do that and then finish up the playroom. It's going to look so good once it's up. So a few exciting things that I want to talk to y'all about. Um, I'm going to probably wait until the boys nap in a little bit to talk to you just because they're running around and screaming and I can't even like hear myself think. Also, quickly before I forget, um, if y'all could leave down below in the comments your suggestions for what videos you want to see from me. Like, I know y'all usually say that you love just like the regular daily day in the life vlog type videos, which is what I love doing the most. Um, but I really want to start doing like more routine videos or like even sit down videos. I love doing Q and A's um, or challenges or anything like that. Let me know what exactly you want to see besides just vlogs. Like if there's, if you want me to start doing more cleaning content, which a few people have, <laughs> which a few people, he's so confused. He's like, why are you talking into the camera, mom? Um, Cam on the other hand is totally used to it. But if you want to see like more cleaning routines, um, organization which honestly I'm not the most organized person by any means but I really want to try and be more organized but I love sharing home decor with you guys which you guys seem to love as well so I'm going to keep doing that but if there's anything specific you want to see let me know down below um because I really like to start planning out my videos instead of just like picking up the camera one day and vlogging my day I'd rather be more organized about it and really start planning out my future videos I think that'll really help me um with like getting the videos up on youtube you guys i got some new bedding in this is another um set from brooklinen but oh my gosh alex and i slept in it last night and it is the softest thing ever i think it's called like heathered cashmere or something and i got the cream this is the same color i had the other set in but um i think it's so beautiful the boys are napping right now, so I wanted to tell y'all some things that have been going on because finally I can have some peace and quiet to talk. First and foremost, I have such an exciting, not announcement, but like it's a, it's a very exciting surprise for Camden. And I'm like hoping sometimes like when he's napping or he'll like just play in his room for a little while, but he'll come down a few times. And so like I don't want him to hear this because it is a surprise for him for his birthday. Um, but I am going with one of my best girlfriends, Jen, and her daughter, Tegan, who is Camden's age. I think she's like two months younger than Cam, but we have planned to take them to Disney World. And I'm so excited. Camden hasn't been to Disney World since I went like, I don't know, four years ago when he was one and he doesn't obviously remember that. And he was so young that he couldn't really like fully enjoy it, obviously. So... He's gonna be five in April and he's going to go crazy and I can't wait to surprise him. Um, I think my friend Jen has already told her daughter that um, she's going, but I haven't told Cam yet and I'm trying to figure out like a cute way to tell him. And honestly, I don't know if I should wait until his birthday because we're going like after his birthday in April, but I don't know if I should wait for his birthday to tell him. Um, or if I should tell him early so he can be excited. Although, I know if I tell him early, he's going to be asking me every single day when we're going. So, I might just wait to tell him on his birthday. Because I am, that is going to be his birthday present. I mean, I'll obviously get him like a cake here. And we'll do like balloons. And like maybe have some family come stay for the weekend or whatever for his birthday. But I'm not giving him a party or anything like that. Because Disney World is a freaking pretty penny. And Alex isn't going to be able to go because of work. So... I think what we're going to do is I'm going to bring Quentin and I'm and my mom's going to come and just help with Quentin. Just super nice of her. Like, bless my mom. Um, and I really want to spend some quality time with Cam. Like, that's what this whole trip really is about. It's for his birthday. I'm going with my girlfriend and her daughter. And I really want, like, Cam and his friend Tegan just to have some fun five-year-old time together in the parks running around. Um, and for me to be able to spend some quality time with Cam. Um, cause he needs that, you know what I mean? Ever since having Quentin, obviously I have to like juggle my attention between the two of them. And I really just want this to be all about Camden. So I'm going to bring Quentin. 
but my mom's gonna come help with Quentin. So anyway, I'm so excited, so excited to finally go back to Disney and to take Cam back. And I feel like five is a perfect age, you know, to start going to Disney again. I really think that this will be super memorable for him and um, I think he's gonna love it. So I just need to figure out a way to surprise him and tell him and I'm just, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do it like on his birthday. Ooh, what I could do is like, I could like pack a suitcase for him with all fun like Disney stuff in it, like Disney outfits and like Disney ears and like all Mickey, Mickey stuff. And then like for his birthday, wrap the like suitcase. And then when he opens it, then I can tell him like, I'm taking you to Disney World kind of thing. I don't know, we'll see. And if you have any Disney tips, let me know. I haven't been in four years. My friend Jen loves Disney and she's been like a ton. So she, you know, she knows a lot. And plus we're working with like a Disney uh, travel agent. So, um, but if you guys have any recommendations or any like fun birthday things, we're also calling it like a kinder moon. My friend Jen told me about like kinder moons. Um, I guess before your kids start kindergarten, you take them on like a kinder moon, like a you know, honeymoon, baby moon type little vacation. Lots of things to celebrate when we go to Disney, but um, I'm so excited to go. And what else? Oh, something else super exciting that's been going on. Um, Alex and I drew up the plans for our house. If you're new here, we bought the four acres that is literally, I'm looking at it right now, it's behind the house that we live in right now in North Carolina. So it's four acres of land, we bought it, we cleared out all the trees we needed to clear out. And we're probably gonna start building uh, like next fall or winter or something like that I think. So, um, but we have been trying to figure out like our floor plans um, and like the entire like house layout pretty much. And at first we drew up some house plans that were like perfect, exactly what we wanted. But once we cleared out the trees and saw kind of like how the land sits and that it kind of slopes down a little bit, um, we decided to change the entire layout of the house and exactly where the house is gonna sit, where like the front of the house will be, where the sides and the back of the house will be. We kind of changed everything. So we've been working on that for like two weeks now. Um, and Alex actually has like this program. He used to be an engineer. If you guys didn't know before he did finance, he was an engineer. So, um, he has some program that he used when he was an engineer. So we first drew it on paper. Well, Alex did all of it. Um, he drew the whole layout on paper and then he used this program and like made it 3d. It's super, super cool. I want to show you guys. Um, and then we actually hired a, I don't even know the term. What does this guy do? He like draws up house layouts um so we sent it to this guy and he drew up the whole house and we spent all day yesterday looking over the main floor and just perfecting it to like what we like changing a few things here and there like where windows are going to be the layout of our master bathroom took us forever just because i want like a freestanding tub and then we want like a specific kind of shower we actually want a shower without a door on it because they get so moldy and like gross and I don't like cleaning obviously so we want something that's going to be like very convenient for us. So we're doing a shower without a door but we'd have to do like a big shower in order for like the water not to spill out if you know what I mean. We have to do like a big a big like glass wall but no door and then we want like the vanity long enough. Um, so anyway it was really hard for us to get the layout right and it took us hours to figure out the right way to set everything up in the bathroom. I mean, it's it's really fun. Like I enjoy doing it so, so much. I could do it all day long and like not mind it at all. It's just so exciting to be working on the house layout. And I know we're not gonna start building for a little while, but I think we just kind of want everything done. We wanna know how much like obviously we're spending on everything. I still am getting asked like if we're taking out any loans or anything like that. And we're not uh, like we're, we're done with mortgages and loans and all that. So that's why we're kind of taking our time before like just jumping into it and making sure that we can afford like everything that we want and cut things out that aren't necessary that may just be like a splurge. So we're just trying to figure out all of that. But super exciting and I will definitely be sharing more with you guys when we actually like get started with everything. And then one more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about which I actually wasn't going to ever mention this um, but I hit 
so many questions and so many dms and i feel like influencers say that all the time like i get so many dms about this but like honestly like i'm not making this up i actually do get so many dms about baby number three and i mentioned it in like i don't know if it was the last vlog or two vlogs ago um i did a little q a and people asked me like what's the plan for baby number three and i told y'all like when we do start trying i'm gonna have to get on clomid it's very hard for me to ovulate on my own and i need help which is why i take clomid and i took clomid with my two previous pregnancies and i got pregnant both times on my second round of clomid that's a question i get all the time 50 milligrams of clomid two rounds and i got pregnant for both pregnancies so i know pretty much i'm gonna have to take clomid again but there's always like a little bit of like hope in the back of my mind like well that maybe i can just get pregnant on my own i mean it's not impossible i've been thinking about it and alex is pretty much like down for whatever he's not like oh when should we have the next baby he's kind of just like whenever you want to have the next baby we can you know try or whatever and so i i've been thinking about like quentin's birthday quentin is going to be two in may and i you know if i get pregnant like sooner rather than later then um the baby will probably be around two and a half to three years apart from Quentin, which is what Quentin and Cam are. Quentin and Cam are three years apart. So if I have another baby who's three years different than Quentin, then that means the baby's gonna be six years younger than Camden. And if we want a fourth baby at some point, then Cam's gonna be like a 10 year old and have a little sibling. And I, I know it's done all the time, but I feel like that's such a massive age gap. So I'm just trying to figure out like, if we really just start trying and I was to get on Clomid, like when? But I really feel like I kind of need to start planning if we do want a third kid just because of the age gap at this point. And I feel like I can't even believe Quentin is going to be two in May. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, when did that happen? He's still my little baby. Like, I cannot even believe he's going to be two. But I'm like, okay, well, if, I, if I want a third kid, like, we should probably start trying. But I did take a pregnancy test, like two months ago and I didn't vlog it or anything like that. It was kind of like a random thing. I hadn't gotten my period in a couple months and I had been getting my period every single month. And then like, I feel like in September or October, I noticed that I didn't get my period. And then like in November, I didn't get my period. So I think it was like December. It was either end of November or like early December maybe. I was like, okay, well I haven't had my period, my period in a couple months, which is weird. Um, because I've been getting it every month and I also have been breaking out like I completely broken out right here but I've been having like crazy hormonal acne all over my chin um, which I hadn't had acne in so long my skin was doing so well I kind of was like okay miss my period hormonal acne maybe I'm pregnant like I don't know um, and I was also having kind of weird cramping too, like weird pains. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Like there's a chance. Let me just take a pregnancy test. So I took one and obviously it was negative, but I do want to get another prescription of Clomid just to have so that when Alex and I are ready to like seriously start trying, I have the Clomid, um, because it's a whole process. You have to wait to get your period and take Clomid like after you get your period. And since obviously I'm not getting my period every month anymore, I wanna make sure that once I do get my period, I'm ready to take the Clomid. That is my little um, update right there on what's been going on with my thoughts on baby number three. Hopefully that answers all of your questions. I know it's kind of like all over the place too, but I feel like I have more of a plan than I did before because now I know that I wanna get my hands on Clomid and I wanna have it available. Whereas before I was like, oh, you know, we'll see. But now I'm like, okay, Quentin's gonna be two in May and we possibly want four kids. So <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. Like, let's just go ahead and figure out uh, what we need here. I really don't understand you guys. Like I try and keep the room nice. I make the bed, vacuum, do all of the things. And then you come over here and this is Alex. It's just like, is this dirty? Is this clean? I don't know. 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 I assume the stuff on the floor is dirty. Do I put the stuff on the floor in his hamper or is that clean? <sighs> oh my gosh. Y'all, this is my outfit of the day. Like no joke. I don't really, <laughs> it looks so funny. I don't really understand the girls. I'm not kidding. I know I'm like an influencer, social media person, whatever. But I follow these girls on Instagram who dress up to the nines every day. And I 
want to do that so bad like i wish that i could wake up do my hair and makeup put on some jeans with like a bodysuit turtleneck and have all of my jewelry and bracelets and like earrings and all the stuff on i wish that i could do that but you guys that seemed so uncomfortable to me and i'm all about the comfort i'm all about the cozy life i literally feel like i would be miserable the entire day wearing anything other than this so that is it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel let me know what you want to see on my channel um, down below in the comments and i will catch up with you guys later